Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about C ordering in Delta Lake. C ordering is one of the performance optimization technique used in Delta Lake development. Let us start from the basic. What is Delta Lake? Delta Lake is nothing but one additional layer sitting on top of Data Lake which provides features like ACID transactions. Generally, data is stored in the form of files and it does not allow ACID transaction. It was one of the shortcomings with Data Lake. So as a result, Databricks introduced Delta Lake which provides additional layer sitting on top of D uh, Data Lake which uh, provides many future performance improvement and one of the important feature is ACID transaction. What is Delta Table? Delta Table is nothing but combination of data files in the form, in the form of Parquet plus transaction log files in the form of JSON and Parquet. Delta table would contain one specific name and stored in a specific location. So this combination is called Delta table. It is similar to any relational uh, database table but coming to data structure you now this is a file format and we can perform RC transaction directly on the file using some mechanism that is provided by Delta Lake. So in order to improve the performance of Delta table, you know, we can use optimize command. I have already posted one video about Delta, label, Delta table internal architecture and also optimize command. You can refer that. Here I can give high level information. So what is optimize? While working with the Delta table, so over the time we used to create a huge number of large number of small files, small data files. So whenever we are creating large number of small files that is not good for performance because the engine has to maintain huge amount of metadata as well and as a result you know it uh, impacts a lot of performance optimization techniques such as data skipping. So in order to avoid that we can go with optimize. So the smaller size, uh, smaller smaller files would be combined into optimal, si optimal size. The default uh, size for optimized command is 1 GB. So let's say we are, uh, we are having 100 megabytes of files. Uh, then 10 files would be combined into one single file using optimized command. That is optimized. Then what is C ordering? C ordering is you know the extension of optimized. C ordering is used along with optimized. So as I explained earlier, optimized command is used to combine many small files into the larger one. But at the same time, it does not uh, care about the data ordering. It would uh, randomly combine the file, combine the data and it will create optimal size of the file. But at the same time, if you are going to mix, if you are going to add C ordering also along with optimize, then it will combine small files into larger one. But at the same time, it will also reorder the data, which will be helpful in performance improvement. That is C ordering. I can give some example. So uh, from that, we can understand. Let me explain through this uh, pictorial representation. Let's say we are having usual in you know, a delta table called the employee. This is having six uh, files. In real time, you know, we would have uh, thousands or even millions of uh, small files. But in this uh, example, just for demo, now I have uh, considered six small files for employee delta table. So this is you know, without optim you know, optimized. In order to improve the performance, you know, I want to optimize this table so that you know I can make it uh, optimal size that is 1 GB. So I'm going to uh, apply optimize command on top of this delta table. So as a result, you know, smaller files would be combined. You know, just for this demo, assume you know each file is of 500 megabytes. Just for example, even though really you know it would be actually it would be few bytes or you know few kilobytes. Still, you know, let us assume you know this is going to be 500 megabytes. So when we are combining you now these two files, it will uh, come around 1 GB. So by combining these two files. In optimized version, we are creating one new file. So similarly, by combining file 3 and 4, we are creating another data file. Same uh, for file 5 and file 6, we are creating another file. So once, uh, you know, while creating this optimate, optimized version of uh, files, even the JSON log files would maintain the statistics. So actually the JSON log file would maintain the statistics for all the columns of the table. But still in this example, you know, I'm going to uh, uh, 
and I'm going to explain from employee ID. That's the reason here I have uh, considered the statistics only for employee ID. So for these files, you know, the statistics uh, would be collected and uh, uh, stored in this format. Okay, so this is uh, a file one, this is the first file. And what is the minimum value of this employee ID? The minimum value is a uh, triple one. And what is the maximum value? It's a triple nine. So I have uh, filled this one. File 1, the minimum value of employee ID is triple 1, maximum is triple 9. Coming to file 2, the minimum value is triple 2, maximum is triple 8. So file 2, the minimum is uh, triple 2 and maximum is triple 8. And the uh, same for file 3, the minimum is triple 4 out of these 4 values and maximum is uh, triple 9. So the minimum is triple 4 and maximum is triple 9. This is the statistics uh, will be used by Delta Engine whenever we are performing certain um, data analytics. So this uh, statistics information plays key role in data skipping. So based on this data and uh, this statistics, let me explain the data analytics. So whenever I am issuing such a command in the Delta Lake, select star from employee table where employee ID equal to triple four. That is my requirement. Now manually we can see and we can understand, you know, this triple four, that record is associated with file two and file three. But whenever we are having millions or billions of records in the actual table you know it's not possible even the engine cannot understand okay which file it has to scan so as a result it is going to refer the statistics from that it will find the smartest way for example in the optimized version of delta um, um, table so first it is going to check consult the uh, uh, logs from the logs you know first file file one that what is the minimum range it's a triple one maximum is triple nine and we are looking for triple four triple four is uh, coming in between triple one and triple nine so there could be you know there is a possibility the data could be within this file also so it will uh, make you know it it will mark this table should be scanned and coming to the next value triple two starting value is triple two ending is triple eight which means you know our value triple four coming in between these two values even uh, system has to scan this file also and coming to the third file you know, it starts with the triple four and ending with triple nine and we are looking for value triple four which means you know, it is matching with the starting value which means even the data could be present in third file also so it will mark that also for scanning so one two three even you know we have to uh, for this particular query, Delta Engine will scan all these three files. I hope you understood. And uh, coming to the next query, I'm giving you know, one more data analytics where select star from employee less than triple three. And here manually we can see, you know, wherever we are having uh, any data lesser than triple three, then we have to consider. You know, we can see here we are having triple one that is uh, lesser than triple three. Similarly, triple two that is also lesser than triple three. So these two files should be scanned. So that we can manually see, you know, but at the same time, the uh, uh, Delta engine will consult um, uh, the statistics, you know, based on that. First, it will consider the minimum values triple one. And, uh, you know, we are looking for lesser than triple three. Then triple one, that is lesser than triple three, which means this file is eligible for scanning. Coming to the next one, next one starts with the triple two, but we are looking any data lesser than triple three, which means even this file is also eligible for scanning. Coming to the third file, it starts with triple triple four, but so all the records you know, will be either you know triple four or more than that. But we are looking for all the IDs lesser than triple three, which means it will um, you know it will conclude that this file is not needed for data scanning because we will not have the data for sure. So at the end, it will uh, decide, you know, we have to scan file one and two. So in this way, you know, this is called a data skipping. In this way, it has avoided scanning the third file. So this is optimized version. Okay, optimized is also good, but at the same time, we are going to uh, um, uh, combine C ordering. It is going to be more powerful. So let me explain C ordering. So in uh, while performing optimize, you know, we can give C ordering. As a result, what uh, it will do is, you know, from this is the source, you know, we are having a um, large number of small files. So whenever we are giving C ordering, you know, the data would be combined and it would be sorted. So the sorted version of these uh, six files will result like this. Now, you know, the data is uh, sorted. Based on that, you know, it will start, um, you know, uh, splitting the data into optimal size. Which means, let us assume the first four records are resulting in 1 GB. Which means, you know, the first uh, file will be created by combining these four records. And the next four records uh, would be created in the next data file. Similarly, the last four records will go to the third file. So now, if you compare the optimized version and the C-ordered version, you know, the, it has uh, produced the same number of files, but at the same time, the data is uh, ordered properly in C-ordered. 
which means this is going to improve the performance for data analytics. Let's say uh, I, I want to perform certain analytics, then the engine is going to refer uh, statistics once again. So whenever creating these three files, Delta engine is going to produce a log information also. Then it is going to collect um, you know various statistics for all the column but again for this example and you know, I am considering employee ID. So for first file, file 1, you know, this is triple 1 is the minimum value and triple 3 that is the maximum value. So it has um, filled. Similarly for the second file, minimum value is uh, triple 4, maximum is triple 5. That is uh, we have noted down here. And coming to the next file, the minimum is triple 8 and maximum is triple 9 that is recorded in the third row. Now this is uh, you know we are having data file and also transaction uh, log statistics you know based on that we can perform uh, data analytics. Let's say I'm going to issue the same command which I gave earlier. Okay select start from employee where employee id equal to 4. Now the delta engine will consult the data log you know based on that it will decide. Now the first file it is starting from triple 1 and ending at triple 3 but we are looking for triple 4 which means you no know, it is ending in triple 3 definitely you know we will not have triple uh, four data in this file so it will skip this one coming to the next one next one starts from triple four ending at triple five and we are looking for data of triple four which means you know, the data could be there in file two so file two should be scanned and coming to the third file it starts with the triple eight and ending at triple nine but we are looking for triple four which means we will never have data in this table for sure so this will be skipped so as part of data scaping, you know, the file 1 and file 3 will be skipped, only file 2 will be eligible for scanning. So here you can see the uh, performance improvement. Earlier, you know, without C ordering, you know, for the same scenario, the Delta engine has to scan three files, file 1, file 2, file 3. But for the same situation now, the Delta engine can, uh, can scan only file 2. So this is the power of C ordering. You know, it can improve the performance in many magnitude. Coming to the second query, select start from employee where employee ID lesser than triple three. For this scenario, again, it will start consulting the log. You know, in the first one, you know, it is uh, starting value is triple one, maximum is triple three, and we are looking for uh, lesser than triple three, which means you know this this file might contain data for this query. Then it will mark that for scanning. Coming to the second one, it starts with triple four, but we are looking for data lesser than triple three. Then straightforward, it will be rejected for scanning. Coming to the third one, it starts with triple eight, ending at triple nine, but we are looking for lesser than triple three, which means even this file would be rejected straightforward. So, in this uh, uh, for this particular data analytics, this engine can scan only the first file to retrieve the output. So in this, uh, in uh, you know, without C ordering, it has to scan two files, but after C ordering, it has to scan only one file. So this is you know one of the simple example that I uh, I have given in this demo. So this is the power of C ordering. So I hope you understood uh, the concept of uh, delta uh, table and the performance optimization like optimize and C order. Coming to syntax, this is my notebook. Uh, I have uh, already um, created a notebook for optimize command. So the same notebook and you know, I have given the syntax for optimize uh, C order. In order to uh, give a demo on C order, you know, I need a huge uh, file, but I don't have data file. That's the reason simply I'm giving C order uh, syntax in this demo. So the syntax is very simple. It starts with optimize. Then we can give the table name on which we have to optimize. Even if we can restrict um, the data using certain condition. Then after that, we have to give C order. Then we have to give column on which we have to perform. We have to sort the data. So this is a simple syntax. I hope you understood uh, the concept of uh, C ordering in Delta Lake development. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like uh, the content of this video, please like and comment uh, in YouTube channel. And also don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button. Thank you.